We just got a ton of information on the war within. I don't know what the frick's going on, but class and talent tree reworks in the war within alpha. So I, I guess the alpha's out now. Um, and some really crazy stuff happened. So Druid, Monk, Paladin, and Warrior uh, got some talent reworks. And people are really stoked about Windwalker. So I'm going to go over all of this stuff, but I'm going to go right to the meat and potatoes for me, which is the Windwalker Monk, because I love Windwalker Monk, and I feel like the talent trees... And honestly, the overall gameplay of Windwalker Monk has been a little bit lackluster this expansion. So this is something I'm really looking forward to, okay? So I, I don't know what the frick's going on, but we can see the trees here. All right, so new talents for the Windwalker Monk. I think this is actually... Is there a way you can see like where these are all placed? Well, we're going to go over all of these, but I want to see if there's actually like a mock tree that I can look at. But uh, let's take a look at, uh, let's dive into some of these talents for the Windwalker Monk, because like I said, I think it's been underserviced for this entire expansion. So let's see. Crashing Momentum, new talent. Targets you roll through are snared by 40% for five seconds. So I guess when you roll, it's going to put a snare up. That's kind of insane. Makes it pretty convenient. I guess, to get your snares up. All right, new. Wind's Reach. The range of Disabled is increased by five yards. The duration of crashing momentum is increased by three seconds, and its snare now reduces movement speed by an additional 20%. What? What on earth? You're telling me when you roll through a target, there's 60% snared? Cool. <laughs> and the range of Disabled is increased by five yards? Great. Wonderful. Bounding agility. Roll and chi torpedo travel a small distance further. Okay. So you have more mobility on your roll. Jade walk. While out of combat, your movement speed is increased by 15%. Okay. Pressure points. Paralysis now removes all and rage effects from its target. Maybe this is like some Billy Goats out here. I'm muting you. All right. Um, Asian Arts the, reduces the cooldown of para paralysis by 8, 15 seconds and the cooldown of leg sweep by 5, 10 seconds. That's a pretty big buff to both paralyze and leg sweep. Well, it's not a big buff for leg sweep, but it's a big buff for paralyze. That's insane. Uh, energy transfer successfully interrupting an enemy reduces the cooldown of paralyze and roll. Oh my God. Successfully interrupting an enemy reduces the cooldown of your paralyzed and roll. That's really nice. Quick-footed, the duration of snare effects on you is reduced by 20%. Bro, they are really... My prediction, I'm not even going through these talents. I, they, there's no way we keep our little, like, punch teleport. I, I guarantee you they're getting rid of that. I think we're going to lose Alpha Tiger. That's my guess. I don't even know, but just looking at this, I guarantee you we lose Alpha Tiger. Or whatever it is. The f thing that like shoots you to the target, you know? When you Tiger Palm, it like shoots you forward. I think they're going to get rid of that. Sky Reach is what it's called. Sorry. That's my, that's my personal guess. I'm just looking at this. There's no way we get all of this and Sky Reach. There's no shot. Spirit's Essence. Transcendence Transfer snares targets within 10 yards by 70% for 4 seconds when cast. That is very good. So if you need to port away defensive, you have a 70% snare. Okay. Peach and Prosperity. Reduces the cooldown of Ring of Peace by 5 seconds and Song of G's cast time is reduced by 0.5 seconds. Okay. Swift Art. Roll removes the snare effect once every 30 seconds. Okay. Windwalker Mobility is going to be insane man we're talking demon hunter status celestial determination while your celestial is active you cannot be slowed below 90 percent movement speed <laughs> bro what okay cheap proficiency magic magical damage done increased by two percent four percent and healing done increased by two percent four percent okay 
Transcendence transfer immediately heals you for 15% of your maximum health. That's very good. That's a, that's a huge buff to the survivability of monks. Martial instincts increases your physical damage done by 2% and avoidance by 2%. Lighter than air. Roll causes you to become lighter than air, allowing you to double... J what? Roll causes you to become lighter than air, allowing you to double jump to dash forward a short distance. So Windwalker monks get double jump after their roll with an extra bit of mobility. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, uh, okay. Flow of Chi. You gain a bonus effect based on your current health. If you're above 90% health, your movement speed is increased by 5%. If you're between 90 and 35, damage taken is reduced by 5%. If you're below 35, healing received is increased by 10%. That's kind of cool. Trans Transcendence Link Spirits. Transcendence now tethers your spirit onto an ally for one hour. Use Transcendence to teleport to your ally's location. That's cool. That's really cool. That's really, really, really cool. Kind of insane, but... You bloody what, mate? Okay. Rushing reflexes. Your heightened reflexes allow you to cast swiftly to the presence of your enemies, causing you to quickly lunge to the nearest enemy in front of you within 10 yards after you roll. Your heightened reflexes allow you to react swiftly to the presence of your enemies, causing you to quickly lunge to your nearest enemy in front of you after you roll. What? Dude, why do we get like 10 new mobility things? This is insane. No, you can link me Sun Fury though. Uh, I'll definitely check it out. Okay. Clash. You and your target clash each other, meeting halfway. Oh my god, bro. You get Clash too? There's no way. Where's Clash going? There's no shot. Windwalker monks are getting Clash? Okay, open this. Clash? Okay, so if you guys don't know what Clash is, Clash is the ability that Brewmaster monks have. That basically, you pick a target, you clash them, and then they charge together. It's really obnoxious. But okay. Chi wave has been reworked. Every 15 seconds, your next rising sun kick or vivify releases a wave of chi energy that flows through friends and foes. Dealing nature damage or healing bounces up to seven times. Wait. Every 15 seconds, your next rising sun kick or vivify releases chi energy. Oh, okay. So it's just a passive now. You don't even press it. Okay, so let's see what they prune now. Let's see what they changed. Okay. Talent removals. The monk class tree has almost been completely reworked. We'll cover the big removals and changes, but look at the image for specific positions. Dampen harm is now for Brewmaster. So Windwalker monks lost Dampen harm. Summon the white tiger statue is moved to Windwalker monk baseline. No, we don't want the statue. Get rid of it. Nobody, nobody likes the statue, man. Nobody. Get, get it out of here. Okay, anyways. Class uh, and talent tuning. Vivify healing increased by 40%. Okay, bounce back. Now triggers at 12% health and reduces damage taken by 20%. Chi burst damage increased by 160%. So they buff chi burst. Uh, fortification, cooldown reduced by 30 seconds for Windwalker and Mistweaver. So they nerfed the cooldown on fortifying brew. Fast feet now requires one talent point. Okay. So now for our 70% rising sun kick damage. It's just one talent point. Uh, fatal touch now requires one talent point was two. Increases damage by 5%. Uh, Grace of the Crane now increases healing taken by 6%. Iron Shell Brew now increases your maximum health and damage reduced by 10%. Oh, that's really good. Dang, that's really good. Resonating Fist now requires one talent point. Save them all is now one talent point. Tiger Tail Sweep. And now only increases the range and is one talent point. Okay, so interesting. Wait. Okay, so that was Windwalker Monk. 
Now, that is pretty freaking good. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay, so there's actually more. There's more that we missed. So this is the actual, that was just a monk tree, guys. That was just the monk tree. So let's see what Windwalker monks got. Here we go, momentum boost. That was just the general tree, momentum boost. Fist of Fury damage is increased by 100% of your haste. And Fist of Fury does 10% more damage each time it deals damage, resetting when Fist of Fury ends. Your auto attack speed is increased by 60% for 8 seconds after Fist of Fury ends. So they're making haste good for Windwalker Monks. That's what that seems like. So Fist of Fury is going to do Giga Dam with haste, I guess. Acclamation. Rising Sun Kick increases the damage your target receives from you by 4% for 12 seconds. Multiple instances may overlap. Wait, what? So, okay. What does that mean? Multiple instances may overlap. Uh, power Strikes. Oh, it just like refreshes the duration or something like that. Uh, dual Threat. Your auto attacks have a 20% chance to instead kick your target dealing physical damage and increase your damage dealt by 5%. Okay. That replaces open palm strike. All right. Brawler's intensity. The cooldown of rising sun kick is reduced by one second and the damage of blackout kick is increased by 10%. Okay. Ordered elements. Oh, here we go. What's this? During storm, earth, and fire, rising sun kick reduces chi cost by one for five seconds, and Blackout Kick reduces the cooldown of effective abilities by an additional one second. Activating Storm Earth and Fire resets the remaining cooldown of Rising Sun Kick and grants two Chi. Yeah. Courageous Impulse. The Blackout Kick, uh, the, the Blackout Kick. Courageous Impulse, the Blackout Kick effect also increases the damage of your next Blackout Kick by 175%. So they got rid of Dance of Chi G. Interesting. Martial Mixture. Blackout Kick increases the damage of your next Tiger Palm by 10%, stacking 12 times. Okay. Energy Burst. When you consume Blackout Kick, you have a 100% chance to generate one Chi. Okay, so they're really... Okay. So it's going to feel a lot better to press Blackout Kick. Um, rushing Jade Wind. Strike of the Wind Lord applies Mark of the Crane to all enemies struck and summons a tornado around you, causing physical damage over six seconds to enemies within eight yards. Deals reduced damage beyond five targets. So now when you press Strike of the Wind Lord, you get a rushing Jade Wind buff and it hits everyone that you're ru that's it. That's pretty cool. That's good. I, I feel like there's a lot of these like really cool effects. Like my personal opinion is there's a lot of these really cool effects like Rushing Jade Wind that they're actually really neat, but they're just really clunky to use. So that's nice. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, Sequence Strikes. You have 100% chance to gain Blackout Kick after consuming Dance of Chi-G. Okay. Gale Force. Targets struck by Strike of the Wind Lord are sent reeling from its impact, causing them to become vulnerable to your attacks for 10 seconds. Your abilities have a 100% chance to affect the target a second time with 10% effectiveness as na nature damage when they are vulnerable. Minion with the wind. Strike of the wind lord's cooldown is reduced by 10 seconds. Its damage is increased by 20%. Revolving whirl. Whirling dragon punch has a 100% chance to activate dance of Chi-G. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Knowledge of the Broken Temple, Whirling Dragon Punch grants four stacks of teachings of the monastery and its damage is increased by 20%. Teachings of the monastery can now stack up to eight times. Singularity Focus Jade, Jade Fire Stomp, additional hit now strikes one. Okay, what's this? Jade Fire Stomp, initial hit now strikes one target, but deals 500% increased damage and healing. Jesus. All right, then let's see what we got pruned. Serenity has been pruned. No more Serenity, it's gone. So that means our offensive cooldown is just... Our, we just have images as an offensive cooldown. Widened World is removed. So it seems like they're really pulling back on Spinning Crane Kick. Spinning Crane Kick isn't yeah, gonna be as crazy, I guess. I hate images, yeah. Spiritual Focus, every two Chi you spend reduces the cooldown 
of Ser uh, Serenity and Storm Earth and Fire. Now a choice node, Skyreach. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They removed Skyreach. It's gone. But I think it's fine. I think the 80 mobility buffs that we got will probably offset that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, bonus brew and talent uh, removed. I didn't pre-read it, man. I just knew that where it was going. Bone dust brew and related talents removed. Okay. Gone. Gone are the days of bone dust brew. Fast tuning. Okay. Buff by 20%. Now does baseline 12% more damage. Okay, so they buffed our mastery combo strikes. Spinning crane kick got buffed. Crane vortex. Got buffed. Dance of GG has changed. Oh, Dance of GG, our PPM reduced to 1.5 was 2. Flying Serpent Kick damage removed. Oh, that's kind of cool. Your Flying Serpent Kick doesn't break your paralysis anymore. Glory of the Dawn now is a chance equal to 100% of your haste to trigger. Haste is going to be good, I think. I think haste is going to be really good. Heart and Soul now increases your crit chance by 5% and crit damage by 10%. For one talent point, nice. Inner Peace now decreases the inner cost of Tiger Palm by five. Was damage increased by 10. Jade Fire Stomp no longer resets the cooldown, but increases movement speed by 20% while inside the, the area. Jade Fire Stomp no longer can reset the cooldown, but now increases movement speed by 20% while inside the area. Okay. Arc of the Crane now only applies to the primary target. Power Strike now casts Expel Harm. Okay, teachings of the monastery now stacks to four. Oh my god, we have four blackout kicks. Thunderfist now gives you four stacks baseline. Touch of the t t tiger now gives you twenty five percent damage for one talent point. Was thirty for two. Transfer the power now also triggers off a of spinning crane kick. Whirling dragon punch cooldown increased to thirty seconds and damage increased by fifty two percent. Primary targets now takes. Triple damage. Jesus, man. So they giga buffed Whirling Dragon Punch. That's nice. That's really nice. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll link it to you guys. Here it is. All right, guys. So the monk changes. The monk rework looks absolutely wild. That's nuts. Um, I mean, that just seems like, like to me, it seems like it's going to be a lot more fluid and fun overall. I I'm really, really happy with that. Seems really cool. I'm excited to actually see how the talent trees, because like right now when you read all of this, you're thinking you're going to get it all, but you might not depending on how the talent trees are, you know? I don't know how they structured the talent trees, so you might have to actually make some really difficult choices and you don't actually get everything. So we'll wait and see for that.